achieve something concrete that would spark change and bring attention to the injustices that are happening today. We Are Proud presents a candid conversation on race relations. Now your host, Jaron Jordan. Hey there, friends. Thanks for being with me. I'm Jaron Jordan. We are continuing our conversation on race relations in Baton Rouge with a focus on justice and politics. Right now, millions of voters are casting ballots in what many are calling the most consequential election of their lives. Over the next half hour, we'll take a look at race and politics, the legal and political barriers that exist for black and brown people, and what we can all do right now to ensure our community becomes one of equality and fairness for all. After all, one of the founding ideals of our current legal system System proclaims equal justice under law. So we'll start with justice and what that equality means. I recently had the chance to profile the journey of Baton Rouge's own Archie Williams from the capital city to Angola to Hollywood. Here's his story and how he's using that journey to motivate change. Archie Williams captured our hearts with this audition on America's Got Talent. Don't let the sun go down. Then broke our hearts with this. I was just incarcerated for 37 years for somebody else's crime. Oh. <laughs> DNA freed me. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, my God. The rate and the number of wrongful convictions is reflective of the number of black men also serving uh, life sentences in Louisiana. G Park with the Innocence Project New Orleans says American institutions that are responsible for upholding justice are being overburdened, contributing to mass incarceration across the state. In the past 19 years, we were found in 2001, we have freed or exonerated 36 individuals who have served collectively more than 873 years in prison. Because the public defender system is so underfunded and because all of our clients were poor, we see in the transcripts, in the trial files, the lack of resources that was available to the defense counsel to effectively put on a defense. It's a reality Marshall Thomas sees every day. It's an intense experience to walk into the jail um, and talk to, you know, your fellow black man who is the same age as you, uh, the same skin color as you, and you can really think there but for the grace of God go I. As an EBR public defender, Thomas represents clients who typically can't afford their own defense. But like public defenders across the country, Thomas says on top of disparities in Louisiana, his office is often representing a disproportionate number of cases with little to no equal funding. The EBR city parish budget illustrates the disparity when it comes to funding public defense versus criminal prosecution. This year, local government allocated $250,000 to the Public Defender's Office compared to $7 million allocated to the EBR District Attorney's Office. There is no justice. There is a legal process. But in terms of equitable justice, I haven't seen it played out in mass especially not in this city. Ashley White works with the Bell Project, a national organization working to address mass incarceration through the lens of the cash bail system. You're not able to consult with your attorneys. You're not able to be in your community with people that support you. If you have other mental health or substance abuse issues, you're not receiving tr treatment. If you have medical conditions, you're not getting adequate medical care. This system needs to be disrupted because it will continue to perpetuate more inequalities if we don't stop it. Archie has overcome the system that failed him so miserably for so many years. This year, less than one year after his release, Archie finished top 10 on this season of America's Got Talent. I talked exclusively with Archie after his season ended about what justice means to him. It don't work. I don't have nothing to say to evil. The only thing I have to say is to my people, the only way we overcome is unification. Because evil is going to be evil. You can protest. You can do what you want. And for 400 years, we've been doing the same thing over and over. It don't work. Now, Archie hopes to be a blessing to someone else. He's planting a church in Baton Rouge and working directly with other men who've been wrongfully incarcerated. If they hold on to faith, they will realize it is a light at the end of every tunnel. 